The woman accused of hitting and killing two siblings in a DUI crash back in 2021 took a plea deal earlier today. Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens spoke with the lawyer for the victim's family and is here now with more about what they had to say. Celine. Michael Rochelle, this is just a tragic case. Earlier today, the court confirmed Lisa Kaur accepted a plea deal and pled no contest to the two counts of second degree murder for those deaths, while other charges against her were dismissed. Now, all that's left for Kaur is for her to await her sentencing. I hope that she gets the maximum sentence that's allowed uh, under the law for two counts of second degree murder. Matt Clark with Chaincone Clark, the firm representing the family of 10-year-old Kaylee Brown and 19-year-old J.J. Malone, says although nothing can replace those lives lost, he believes the district attorney did exactly what they should have done. Friday morning, Lisa Kaur pled no contest to second-degree murder for both siblings who died after Kaur hit them with her car in December 2021. They were standing at a bus stop along Panama Lane with their dog when Cor drove off the road, hitting and killing them. A toxicology report showed Cor was under the influence of methamphetamine, amphetamine, and clonazepam. And Bakersfield police say this was her third DUI charge. This is the problem with the law is we allow people to get one DUI and then two DUIs and then three DUIs and then four DUIs. And at what point? Do we say enough is enough? In a jailhouse interview with Eyewitness News, Cor said she did not take any medicine and thought she had a seizure. She said she did not remember the crash and woke up bloody, in pain, and with a broken leg, unaware anyone was dead until later. On the way to be um, taken here, I guess they told me that I killed two people, that I hit two people with my car. <laughs> and they were kids. <laughs> Friday, two charges for gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, driving with a revoked or suspended license for DUI, and failure to provide proof of insurance at the scene of the accident were dismissed. She is agreeing to plea to the maximum crime that she could have been convicted of under these circumstances, and that is the right thing. I love a mother too, but I can't believe it. <laughs> I expect that at the end we will procure a massive judgment against Lisa Kaur that will hang over her head for the rest of her life, whether she's in prison or not. Now, the family is also suing the Greenfield Union School District for designating a bus stop on a high-speed four-lane roadway, which the lawsuit describes as a reckless and negligent decision. However, Clark says due to being in the middle of litigation for that case, he isn't able to comment on its status. Kaur's sentencing will be on November 8th. Live in studio, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News.